PNDC in a statement signed by its leader, Haruna Idris, who wants government to suspend the electronic transaction levy, withdraw the Ejapa Minerals royalties deal, provide for the tidal waves disaster, as well as uh, reward uh, the government of Ake oil deal and review of benchmark values for imports. Listen to the majority leader, Seche Mensabunsu, who says the majority will tomorrow move a motion for a recession to reverse the rejection of the budget. But be that as it may, he went ahead, did what he did in absence because we were not in the chamber. And then went ahead to state that the motion on the budget as moved by the Minister of Finance on Wednesday the 17th of November is lost. That whole procedure was unconstitutional. As far as we are concerned, it's null and void. There's no binding effect on anybody. Now, we say so because, and so, the motion on the budget, as far as we are concerned, has not been pronounced on by Parliament. It's still standing in the name of the Minister for Finance. Yeah. Yeah. And in the fullness of time, a properly constituted house, mm -hmm. not one presiding over, presiding over by the right honorable speaker, yes. will make the decision. Yeah. Now, out of mischief, the speaker quoted Article 102 of the Constitution that, and I quote, a quorum of parliament, apart from the person presiding, shall be one third of all members of parliament. He was right. And the quorum is for the transaction of normal business. Maybe statements are being made. No decision is being taken. So that one, that correct number of one third can listen to it. When it comes to decision making, it is not one Article 102 that applies. It's Article 104 that comes into play. You recollect that yesterday the minority leader signals that they are going to invoke Article 104. It was not for nothing. We thought the speaker knows the fundamentals of the Constitution. He's ignorant. Now, what happened today involved a decision of the House. In that case, it is not Article 102. It is Article 104 plus 1. And I read, except as otherwise provided in this Constitution, Matters in Parliament, including this one, shall be determined by the votes of the majority of members present and voting, with at least half of all members of Parliament present. The number that the Speaker quoted reflected the entirety of the membership of the minority caucus in Parliament. But assuming that is right, because you have cause to believe that at least two of them were not in the chamber. Yes. Yes. Yes.